Tenakoto Katoa, Anton Matthews here from Fush. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, um, in this series of videos, we're going to be focusing on 10 kupu or words or phrases in Te Reo Māori that parents can learn and teach their children uh, just to sort of normalise Te Reo Māori around the home, uh, out in the playground, out at the supermarket, wherever. So if that's the sort of thing that you're interested in learning, then hang around and we'll catch up soon. Kia ora. Tēnā koutou katoa, no mai hoki mai ki everyday te reo Māori by Fush. Thank you very much for joining me. Now we're uh, still on our theme of kupu, Māori words that parents can learn and teach to their tamariki, uh, to their children, to normalise te reo Māori around the home. Um, so on that note, today we are learning, it's actually more, more like a phrase uh, than just um, a word, um, but it means to be careful, okay? So the word, or the phrase I'm going to teach you today is kia tu pato. Kia tu pato. And we're looking, there's actually a macron, a tohu to on the U in the second word, tu pato. So we're looking for a long U sound. So it's not kia tu pato, it's kia tu pato. Kia tu pato. Uh, and kia tu pato simply means to be careful, um, to proceed with caution. So, for example, you might be down at the playground and your tamariki might be um, climbing a big wall or something or they might be climbing a tree or, and you sort of think to yourself, I want to let them go because, you know, that's what kids do. But I also want them to just, just be aware that they need to be cautious, they need to be careful. So you might say to them, kia tu pato. Kia tu pato. Okay, so it's sort of like a warning. Kia tu pato. Um, if you've got a son or, or, a, or a nephew or a young boy maybe that you're looking after, you might say, kia tu pato e tama. E tama means um, uh, son. Okay, so kia tu pato e tama. You might take that word uh, e tama on at the end. If you've got a daughter, you might say, kia tu pato e hine. Okay, so a daughter, a niece, or, a, or maybe you're looking after a group, a group of young, girl, uh, uh, young girls and one of them's climbing the tree, you might say, kia tu pato e hine, which simply means, be careful, uh, little girl. I know that sounds a bit weird in English, but in, in Māori it doesn't sound weird. Kia tu pato e hine. You're just telling them to be careful. Okay, so you can use it as a bit of a warning. Kia tu pato. Um, you can also take their name on the end. Let's say their name is Anton. You might say, kia tu pato Anton. You can also do that as well. Um, so you can use it as a bit of a warning. You can also use it um, in a slightly different way. Let's say your, tama, your tamaiti or your tamariki um, is getting a bit lippy. You know, they always want to push the boundaries, which is cool. I get that. I actually like it when my children get a bit sassy and push the boundaries. But sometimes, you know, enough is enough and you've got to learn, you've got to learn your boundaries and not overstep the boundaries. And so you can use it as a, a teachable moment and you can say to your tamaiti or your tamariki, if you've got plural. Tamaiti, by the way, means uh, one child. Tamariki means uh, several, two or more. So you might say to your tamaiti or your tamariki, if they're getting a, a little bit lippy and pushing the boundaries just a little bit too far, you might say to them, hey, kia tu pato. Okay, and put the finger at hey, kia tu pato. Um, so you can use it as a warning when, they, when, when, they, when they, you know, there might be um, danger um, on the horizon. You can say, hey, kia tu pato, be careful. But you can also use it as a bit of a, um, a, a, a way to kind of correct um, their behavior when they're getting a little bit lippy. Hey, kia tu pato. Okay, so it's a really useful phrase as matua, as parents to know and be aware of. And a really good one to teach your tamariki so that they know what you're, what you're trying to say when you say that. Okay, so kia tu pato, that's your phrase today. Use it, normalize it, teach your whānau, teach your tamariki, uh, and make speaking te reo Māori part of everyday kōrero, everyday chat. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you back here next time on Everyday Te Reo Māori. Bye, fashi. Ka Kia ora koutou. thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see heaps more just like this one, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Everyday Te Reo Māori by Fush, to see heaps more videos just like today's one. And don't forget that, you know, normalising Te Reo Māori is about everyone just giving it a go, practising, having a crack at speaking Te Reo Māori. So don't be afraid to use what you've learned here today. And, you know, probably the best thing you can do is find someone and teach them what you've learned today. So you sort of pass it on um, and normalise it that way. So... Look forward to having you back here next time. Um, have a wonderful day. Kaki te anō. Ciao.